Welcome to the By Design demo for actual costing in SAP By Design for Manufacturing. For the purpose of this demo, we will manufacture two products, Billet Grade S and Billet Grade S2. Both of these products will be set up with a standard cost to begin the period. They will have overhead costs as part of the production order and then finally an actual cost run to put in overhead costs for departments into the actual final finished goods. First we'll look at creating a product for manufacture grade S. These are screenshots from the by design system that show point in time. After we've validated all of the journal inputs, we will have a look in the system to see the final actual cost of these products. To begin, when we look at this particular inventory material master screen, we can see that this product is set up with a moving average cost of $100. This is per ton, and this is beginning August 1st. We are going to create a production lot and we are going to manufacture 10 tons of this product. This particular production order has taken us five hours and included in the raw materials, we have additional resources that come through at fixed rates for labor and for equipment usage. If we drill down on the equipment resource, we can see that this particular resource costs us $60 an hour to use. As mentioned, we are using it for five hours for this production run. Labor has been set up with the same rate, $60 per hour, and we have processed 50 or five hours at $60. And finally, this product requires uh, $50 of raw materials per ton. And once this production order is completed, we will see that we will debit finished goods for $1,000. That's 10 tons at $100 per ton. Let's have a look at all of those journal entries. So we look at the manufacturing process for grade S. We'll also look at the material costs. So we, you can see that we have purchased this material for $500. We've received it into raw materials inventory directly from the supplier. We started the production process. We consume the raw materials. They are relieved from raw materials and debited to work in progress. During the manufacturing process, we consumed five hours at $60 an hour from two different service expenses, one relating to labor and one relating to equipment usage and that has created an additional $600, which has also been debited to WIP. And when the product is complete, we have $1,000. Any variance in WIP will have to be cleared out through the WIP clearing run at the end of the month. So we have manufactured this product now for $1,000. If in addition to that, we look at the sale to the customer, we can see we've also sold this product to the customer. We sold it for a value of $2,000. Therefore, we've recognized revenue. And in addition to that, we have a goods issue for the customer. And so our $1,000 of cost of, uh, has been relieved from inventory and has been booked to true cost of goods. For this demo, we've created two products so that we can spread our overhead resources across the two products based on the time spent working on both of those products. Our second product is billet grade S2. 
This product has an established cost of $150. We are manufacturing 50 tons. We are consuming 25 hours of labor and electricity. We will see the same entries for the S2 with different values. Same process, receipt of raw materials, this time $5,000 in raw materials. Final finished goods was $7,500. And 60 hours, 25 hours of labor at $60 has created our $3,000 uh, direct overhead, directly attributed, attributable overhead. And in addition, we have also sold this product. So we have relieved finished goods inventory and we have recognized fully this cost of $7,500 at the point of sale. During the period, we will also have additional costs that were not recognized in the manufacturing process. These will hit GL accounts directly. An example of one will be this rent invoice for $12,000. And in addition to that, other shared overhead costs, we have set up a $3,000 payroll expense that we've booked to the manufacturing department. And lastly, the system has automatically generated $2,048.50 of overhead distributions. These are from sub-departments of manufacturing, this is a formula-based entry that's looking at various cost centers and then reclassifying those values based on a formula from the sub-cost centers to the parent cost centers based on how you want those formulas to work. This is a completely optional step, does not have to be done, but this is another way to recognize costs into manufacturing that we have to then split across the final finished products. So that is our last step to do the actual cost allocation. The actual cost allocation clears out some service expenses and clearing accounts, but ultimately the net impact is to the specific products. In this case, grade S steel has been impacted by $2,283.50. And the grade two, uh, two steel has been impacted by 11,750. And we can see in both of these situations, the GL account is material consumption. If this product had not been sold to the customer, then inventory could be impacted instead. Let's have a look at a reconciliation to prove to ourselves that these values generated by SAP are accurate. If we go to the actual cost testing tab, we've created a formula to replicate what SAP is doing. What we already know is that we've created two products, five hours and 25 hours, 10 tons and 50 tons, creating a total tons made of 60 and a total hours worked of 30. If we split that mathematically, that means 17% of manufacturing effort went into grade S, 83% of manufacturing effort went into grade S2. Raw materials are directly attributed. Overhead have been directly attributed, but the shared costs have been attributed, will need to be calculated. So $15,000 of shared costs, $15,000 by 17% gives us $2,500 of overhead manufacturing costs to be attributed to S2. 83% of 15,000 is 12,500. If we add those costs together, these are our total manufacturing cost. If we divide those by the number of tons, these are our new cost per ton. You can see here that we have $328 and $385. In this case, SAP reconciles perfectly. You may notice that our raw materials for the S2 were originally $500.
If we go back and look at that one more time, sorry, material costs for S1, we received those raw materials at $500. That is what was consumed from inventory. However, subsequent to that, the payable was created and the vendor gave us a discount, which worked out to be $15. As a result, SAP has retroactively worked out that discount and factored that into the raw materials cost. So that has also been taken into consideration as part of the month end actual cost allocation. These screenshots evidence that SAP has come up with the same period costs of $328 and then for S2, $385 that we've worked out in Excel. Let's have a look at that quickly inside by design. In by design, we're going to go into the inventory valuation, the material actual costs. From here, we can search on any product that we've manufactured. So we will look at our billet grade S. You can see that we've got two entries for billet grade S. In this particular demo environment, we have two sets of books. We will look at the US set of books. If we view this entry, we can see our 3,283.50 or $328.35 per ton. From here, we can also analyze those cost breakdowns. These values match what we calculated in the spreadsheet. Our material costs of 485, our overhead costs, and our service costs. We can also break this out by GL account, and we will say, see those same values by GL account. In this particular case, we've got our discount of $15 processing to a different GL account. In addition to that, we can click on the View All button, and we can see this represented as a hierarchy starting from the bottom are as our initial input costs as well as all of our units of measure building up to our final actual cost allocations giving us our final value and any variances along the way lastly let's have a look at the inventory material before we do that we'll go back to the excel screenshot and we will have a look at it the screenshot that was taken prior to the production process. Just a reminder that we had this product with an established cost of $100 per ton valid as of August 1st. If we open up that same screen now, we'll open up this particular product, click on the view all, look at the valuation tab, and you can see we have a history of our $100 for August 1st. But now we have a new established actual cost of $328.35 starting September 1st. Therefore, all production orders created in September will use an actual cost of $328, but will be impacted by the month end of September's actual cost adjustment once again, establishing the new cost for October. And that concludes our demo. Thanks for watching.